Hello everyone and welcome back to Stry Trends YouTube channel. It's been a long delay since we last posted any video on our YouTube channel and I can do nothing but apologize for these delays and promise you that you know we'll try our best to not let that happen again in the future. In this video as you can see we will be learning how to convert a .py script into a .exe file which can easily be run anywhere on any operating system without even setting up Python local environment on your machine. So let's get started. So the basic benefits of having an executable file are like you know uh, for any non-programming member of your team they do not even have to install Python on their local machine to run these exe files and it's a great way to convert your general purpose scripts like you know scripts for web scrapping or doing some basic stuff into exe files so that everyone can utilize it without uh, getting into the trouble of installing python and all that so for this purpose we will be using py installer which can easily be installed using pip command and it is a bundling library module which bundles a uh, .py uh, script along with all the project files into a .exe file coming to how py installer works py installer generally reads all the python scripts that are available in your project it then moves on to uh, downloading all the frameworks and all the library modules that are being used in your .py script, in your .py project. And then, you know, uh, it bundles all these things along with an active Python interpreter and converts a .exe file, which can be used to run the whole project, the whole application. So uh, the default command is a simple py installer along with providing the main uh, Python script file, which is from where the execution begins. In our case, it is main.py. So the project that we'll be using for uh, this video purpose is a simple banking application that I've created using Tkinter. So it's a desktop application, and we have also used matplotlib for creating graphs. So we'll shortly see how it looks like and how it works. So here I have the terminal, and I'll be running the pip install py installer command to install py installer on my machine as you can see it says requirement already satisfied that's because i already have py installer installed uh, on my machine so this is the project that we have it has three python scripts one txt file which is in this project you is being used as a database, we are writing the data into the file and we have an icon file which we'll use later on. So I'll be running the basic py installer command which is py installer and directly I provide the main.py script which is the ex starting execution script for our project and I hit enter. Now as we can see py installer has started working, it will initialize the project, it will download all the modules and libraries which are required by our project and then create the exe file. Let's wait for the exe file to be created. It can take some time, it depends on how many modules and libraries uh, your project utilizes. It should be done within a minute. So as you can see it says completed successfully. Now we'll have some additional folders in the project application folder. As you can see, we have a build folder additional, which is a working directory in which uh, py installer keeps all the uh, working active files that it creates during the process of conversion of .py file to .exe file, like the log files, .pyz file, and etc files. And dist is the directory which in which the .exe file is created. So here we have the main uh, executable. If I double click on it, I'll see a console. And the sometimes you know the application uh, bootstrapping takes some time. So as you can see, I cannot see the application as of now, but it will come up. Don't worry. So we'll wait for some time for the application to bootstrap. Meanwhile, as you can see in this directory, in the disk directory, you can see many files. So py installer works in two different settings. One is minus D, which is, uh, you know, py installer command can be done using an additional argument hyphen D, using which, you know, a complete 
one bundled directory is created in which all the required files are present or we can provide the argument hyphen f so hyphen d is the default argument as you can as you have seen in this a command that i ran py install remain.py i didn't provide any hyphen d argument so it's the default argument so by default a complete directory one bundled directory is created in which all the files are there and the main exe file is also present whereas if i provide the hyphen f argument i will get only one single file which is the main.exe file here we have a desktop application loaded we can enter the username the bank account number and the pin and login and we'll see the account page so this is the basic application that we have now what we will do is we'll see what are the other options that we can use along with pi installer so as you can see on the screen hyphen h can be used for help uh, when we use hyphen h along with pi installer command it shows all the other arguments other the options that we can use with the pi installer command hyphen d as i already said is used for creating a bundled folder which is also the default setting of pi installer hyphen f for creating a bundled file which is not default so i have mentioned it incorrectly here so hyphen f is for creating a bundled single file if you want to provide a custom icon for your uh, .exe file you can use the hyphen i argument and provide an icon file so it has to be of format .ico for windows and for mac os it has to be .icns which we will see shortly in the next segment of this video hyphen n is used to provide a custom name to your exe file by default it takes the name of the script that we provides for the conversion hyphen hyphen log level can be used to debug the whole process of conversion of .py to .exe so there are times when you know you can face problems or you can face some error during the conversion of your .py file to .exe to debug what was the error you can use hyphen hyphen log level argument and provide debug as the log level so we'll see this argument as well when, when we run the next command apart from this as you just saw when we clicked on the main.exe file we saw a console and then our application was bootstrapped if we do not want users to see that console coming up we can use hyphen w it doesn't show the console window for standard input output when the main exe file is run hyphen hyphen clean can be used to clean the cache for pi installer at times you know during the downloading of modules and frameworks there can be some error which can be caused because of uh, a copy of the library already existing in pi installer cache in that case you can use hyphen hyphen clean command before converting your .py script to .exe hyphen v can be used for version hyphen hyphen dist path can be used to change the default output directory which is dist by default in which the exe file is created and hyphen hyphen work path can be used to change the working directory which is built by default so let's run the py installer command again using some options to play around and see how it runs so this time we'll be using a couple of arguments along with the py installer command and would add an icon change the name of the application and even define a log level to see all the debug statements while the py installer works its magic to convert the python script to .exe so the command that we will be running now is py installer hyphen i i will provide the icon file which is this in our case i have kept this file in the same project directory where all the python scripts are i will use hyphen n for providing the name let's say bank app then hyphen w to not to show the console window when the application files up hyphen f to specify that we just need a single file and hyphen hyphen log level let's provide debug as the log level and then the main.py script i think that's it yes so these are the arguments that we we'll be providing for this run of py installer and let's run the command so now you will see more logs on the screen as you can see the logs are running in debug statement so some additional log statements will be seen during the conversion process which is good if you are debugging or looking for any error so this can take some time because the logs will be additional in this case and it's done 
So now when I come back to the project directory, inside the dist here we see an icon which says bank app and this is our exe file in this case and all I have to do is double click on this to run the application. Isn't it super easy to convert a Python script to an exe file and how cool it is to you know provide a cool icon with an interesting name to your application and just pass on the same file to anyone who wants to run your script. So that's it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and do share it around with your friends. See you soon in the next video.